Hi, this is Russ McClay, and what follows is um, some test footage taken today, um, just here in the neighborhood, over a bowling green. A very rare and strange thing. It happens to be in my neighborhood, and it's actually where I learned how to fly my little quadcopter. So let's uh, start the video here of what some of the footage I shot today. Tomorrow is a big day, and that's what I'm going to be trying to talk about in this short bit. It's never short when I get talking. So here we go. Today, um, <laughs> a few interesting things about this video is, first of all, again, I'm just doing some testing because tomorrow is a big day. When I originally was flying my quadcopter, my Phantom II, uh, this is where I practice. It's right near my house. It's actually the perfect place, and hardly anybody goes there, except for these, uh, you know, these people that are playing the the ball, the game of the wooden ball. They call it, you know, mucho. Croquet is what we used to call it. And when I the day I think the day the very day I think I did my initial flights, uh, one the guy, a guy named Charlie, uh, came over and was very interested, <laughs> of course, in the copter, and and then I later learned that he was the groundskeeper for this thing, and very 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 likable fellow, and uh, and then he asked me if I you know this is back in, I think in October or actually September, and he asked if I would come and, and film their big event which happens on November the 7th which is tomorrow and I said uh, yeah no, I mean, uh, unless anything strange happens uh, you know I can do that so and I was flying over there pretty frequently but then I started flying from my roof and and frankly, um, there haven't been that many great weekends uh, over the last month or so, so I haven't done too many flights, and certainly not, you know, really unique ones outside of my neighborhood. It's kind of repetitive. But so this is just some footage, and what's going to happen tomorrow is it's some kind of uh, major, uh, you know, event where they have this croquet. Uh, contest, but it's more than that. I'm not even sure my Chinese, even after all these years, is <laughs> lacking in certain things. But um, yeah, it's kind of fun. So I was just flying around, and, and Charlie had asked me because he saw me the first day I flew, and he goes, "Have you been getting better at this?" And I said, hey, "Yeah, I said uh, maybe. I mean, of course you would." And indeed, then I did some more flights, and I went, you know, in fact, I really am getting better at this. I'm getting, as you should. And by the way, that fellow down there below, uh, mowing the lawn with a gas mower, that is so rare. I mean, that seeing that guy and that sound today was so cool because it was just so Americana. And you see there on the lowest deck, a guy in the center of that field there, he's laying out those lines. Uh, there's another person there just kind of practicing pitching around uh, and um, yeah this is my definitely my neighborhood and it's such a you know a thrill and a and so cool to be able to see you know this this place uh, where I've lived so many years from these perspectives from this flying camera it's very, very, very cool. There's a guy with his mower. There goes a guy on a scooter over there on the side. He's, yeah. yeah, it's quite wonderful. So I, I'm practicing here too, how to just kind of hold the camera. Um, you know, I try to, you know, definitely if you're around people, I want to be away from them. I want to be high. Um, I do not want to be over them. I do not want, you know, the sound of it to intimidate anybody. So it's a balance between being, you know, high enough not too high because then people just become ants. But you, so you have to get down, um, but you don't want to frighten people. And also, you you know you have to think about uh, the safety of the craft itself. I mean, if something fails, where is it going to go? You know. Um, in, in this example, you can see I'm flying over these trees. I mean, if everything fell and it fell on a tree, it probably would, 
you know, not be very much damage. But anyhow, uh, this is uh, this is the venue for tomorrow's big deal. And I don't like getting up early on Saturdays, but I told this fellow that uh, I definitely uh, would help him photograph this. I, I didn't. I, I saw a little bit of this earlier, and I didn't notice those guys actually waved at, at the craft. So that's it. Um, just a piece, a uh, little pre-piece, and then tomorrow will be the. Uh, hopefully, get some good footage. Uh, I'm not a professional with this, so it's a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of. Uh, what can we say? Uh, apprehension and. <laughs> yeah, should be okay. Should be okay, no problem. I mean, they don't expect much. Uh, they'd just be happy to see something on uh, on YouTube. And I'm really happy they asked me to do it. Yes, indeed. Footage shot with a Phantom 2, a DJI machine. Uh, it's kind of an all-in-one solution. Out of the box, you can fly it. And... Um, I've had mine for a couple of months and had many flights with it and it's, it's truly enjoyable. Uh, if you're careful with it and use a little bit of conscientiousness with it, uh, yeah, you really can't go wrong with it. It's a little bit more expensive than the cheap ones, but this one relies on GPS satellites. And I guarantee you, if you try to fly these quadcoppers without that kind of technology, you better be, you know, really uh, ready to fly, you know, and that takes the fun out of like photographing stuff because you have to pay attention to that. That's it for this. Bye.